You know what's not talked about enough in the microbrand world? Actually, as a matter of fact, it's not being talked about at all. Square watches. I mean, sure, Cartier Tank, but that's not a microbrand. And unless you're Teddy Balgazar or Adrian from Barkin Jack or Brittany from the Watch Gringa or the Urban Gentry, and I think you know where I'm going with this, you're never going to review one. I won't review one. But even with all the diversity in the microbrand world, that hasn't been a brand outside the big watch names, apart from some of the old off-the-shelf brands on AliExpress, that has made a square watch. So naturally, when Freddie from Sonar Watches reached out to me to review the Nostalgia, the watch we're going to look at today, I was like, hell yeah, partly because I've never owned a proper square watch and because I think that this corner of the market really deserves some attention. Now, quick story time. Sonar Watches is a Swedish micro brand that is dedicated to exclusively produce square watches. The name Sonar is Swedish for sons and the logo represents Freddie, the CEO, and his two sons. I think I got that right. The Nostalgia is available to pre-order on the website for 50% discount until February 29th, coinciding with the launch of their Kickstarter campaign. In other words, you can get the Quartz version of the Nostalgia for as low as $225 or $335 for the Auto. That, translated in street watch nerd lingo, means that you're saving a fortune on a Cartier alternative and all of a sudden this makes the Nostalgia a hell of a bargain. Now let's take a look at the specs. So we're looking at a 316L stainless steel with 800 HP hardening coating, if you want to call it that, but a dome sapphire crystal with five layers of AR. We also have 50 meters of water resistance. The auto version has a Celita SW1000 and the quartz version is an ETA901 with 11 years of battery life. While we're mentioning long numbers, this also comes with 10 years warranty. Now, who the hell does that? Imagine the commitment that you have to make as a brand for 10 years warranty on a watch. So those specs may not seem like much, but let's take a step back and have a look at them individually. So let's start with the case. The stainless steel case is curved and it literally wraps around the wrist. And because of that hardened coating, it will stay shiny for a very, very long time which is cool, but not so cool because you can also see a lot of fingerprints on it. I mean, I got a lot of fingerprints on it. I feel that I should complain, but I'm not. I just have to wipe it down so many times while I was shooting B-roll. B-roll, I spoke like a real filmmaker there. B-roll. One thing that I do want to mention regarding the hardening coating, I just wasn't expecting that sort of case treatment, especially on this style of watch. There is nothing wrong with it, but I just wouldn't associate this feature with a square watch that is supposed to be on the dressier side. So I'm actually pleasantly surprised. While we're on the topic of dressy, this to me doesn't feel that dressy or that you wouldn't normally be limited to a more formal wear. For starters, this is small, but not that small. So 40 meter, 40 millimeter lug to lug. It's a weird thing to start with. 8 millimeter thickness, 20 millimeter lug width, and 28 millimeter wide. Now, it may not look like it, but this is actually a strap monster. And because of that, to me, scores a lot more points in the versatility department. What I did, I bought a few straps off AliExpress and I literally went to town with it. Not there's anything wrong with the straps that come with it, we'll get to that in a bit, but I actually had a lot of fun. And on that note, cue some clips with some cheap straps off AliExpress. I bought two colors and I can genuinely say that I've never been so excited for some cheap straps in my life. The compatibility with this little beauty has been on point and this is credit to the watch, not to the straps. Links down below if you're interested in the ones featured in this video. And again, I'm no fashion guru, but you can wear this with literally 80% of your outfits. Not in the garden, garden obviously, or we're hiking, but I think you kind of get the gist of it. Also bear in mind that we have a 50 meter water resistance, so if you're thinking of cliff diving with this on, think twice because you might ruin your watch. Not that you might die while you're 
clip diving. In regards to its own straps, I only have pictures and you also have the options of selecting them on the website, but I cannot vouch for the quality. From the pictures, they're all on the dressier side, but I'm sure they're pretty decent quality if Freddy has the same approach on the quality of the straps as he has on the rest of the watch. We didn't talk about the dial. I mean, there isn't much to say here, but we have batons for the markers and dolphin style hands for the minute and hours. No seconds hands, which adds to the minimalistic look and also the extended battery life of the movement, which we'll touch in a little while. Regarding the dial, these are all classical traits for a dressy square watch. There's a few color combinations and case finishes named after cities, which is, in my opinion, kind of cool. I think it brings a touch of class to the overall lineup. I don't have enough time to go through all of them, but please, 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 please go to the website and check them out because there's a little something from for everyone. Now, for my favorite section, which is the loom, or should I say the P loom for the ones that have spotted the t-shirt already. One thing that we're lacking here is obviously loom. Now, given the fact that there's little real estate for that on the dial and also for this style of watch is not something that's specifically common, it doesn't have any loom. It would be very unfair for me to give it a P loom score, so I know you're expecting me to roast this, but I won't. But still, we get to have an opinion, which is the best part. So, if you happen to fall asleep with this at night and you want to go peeing, don't, you have to hold it in, because if you do, you won't be able to check the time because you see it and you will get lost in time forever. Who knows if you're gonna come back? Nobody knows. And finally, let's talk about the movement. So like I was saying, we have a Swiss ETA Quartz 901.001. This is a three jewel movement, no running seconds hand. And if you get the right battery in it, you will get 11 years out of it. So it will run consistently for 11 years. May I remind you, this is one year more than the warranty. Because there is no running seconds hand and it doesn't actually tick, I couldn't actually measure the accuracy of the movement, nor I couldn't actually find any information about the stated accuracy online. So to me, it's fine. I don't, I'm not particularly bothered about that. The main benefits of quartz in this case is the fact that it keeps the cost down. So in that case for me, it gets a thumbs up. So let's round it up. Tank style watch, $225 before the 29th of February. I love the fact that the brand is strictly dedicated to square watches. So I'm actually curious what Freddy, the CEO, will come up with next. There are two things that put a smile on my face. One, the straps that I could put on this and the fact that you make a serious watch look plateful. And two, the HV hardening coating, which is looking like it holds up. This is a very welcome, unexpected feature that I will gladly embrace. So yeah, would I spend my own money? Yeah, definitely I'll spend my own money for this. So that was it guys. Let me know in the comment section below what you think about Sonar watches, like what you think about the nostalgia. Would you prefer a different style of watch? If you have any other watches or micro brands that produce square watches that we can compare this with, what do you think about Sonar as a brand? Check them out in the description down below next to that like button. And speaking of like button, click a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't so, and if you've enjoyed my content. Thank you very much for sticking until the end and, uh, and for listening to me. And I will see you guys in the next video.